guys, it's Jessica with Exploring the Local Life. Today I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of purchasing new versus used. This episode of Exploring the Local Life is brought to you by RVWithMe.com. They connect RVers and landowners. RV owners can enter their desired destination and a list of nearby locations will appear. Landowners or RV park owners can list their sites and have RVers find them. That's RVWithMe.com. So something that we faced when we were purchasing or looking to purchase our RV was whether or not we should purchase a new or used one. We had heard stories for both. There's some people that are like, absolutely, get the used one. Don't buy new. Don't buy new. And then there's other people like, um, why wouldn't you buy new? Never been used. Warranty. What's not to love? The different reasons that people give for going used. They say all the cruddy stuff that they went in there <laughs> initially because they don't always put the highest quality things in RVs. A person who has owned it already has taken all that stuff out and replaced it with better, better things. Or they've been replaced by the manufacturer, whatever. Basically all the crap that's in there has been take, taken out. Also any problems that may, have been, um, that may have occurred, they've been taken care of as well. And of course there's that whole less money thing. Another thing that other people have said that if they got a used one, even if it was in really old crappy shape, that they could make it fit exactly what their family needed or, you know, what they absolutely envisioned for their RV. Versus if you're buying a brand spanking new uh, RV, you're probably not going to want to tear everything out right away since it's all brand new and you've spent so much money on it. Cons of purchasing an older used vehicle. It's used. So, you know, the exterior, some of the walls, they probably were not replaced, uh, depending on how long the person had it, of course, but it's probably the original stuff. So you have that wear and tear. Also, you might end up with an old unit, like old falling apart unit, which is great if you're handy and you have a lot of time to restore it or just to renovate it great, but not if you just um, aren't that handy or, aren't, or do not want a project. Some RV parks do not allow rigs that are 10 years or more old. That could be a pain in the butt. Um, we have never had anybody ask us how old ours was, but that doesn't mean that there aren't RV parks out there. They're going to be like, how old is your rig? And some don't even care if you've totally renovated the thing. They're just I'm sorry, it's too old. No. New RVs, pros. Obviously, everything in there is new and under warranty. So in theory, if you have any issues, you should be able to go back to the manufacturer, use that warranty, and get things replaced. I have heard people say that that isn't what happens, or most, if you're full timey especially, you know, they don't realize that you are living in your RV. I've heard of people living weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks in a hotel waiting on the manufacturer to replace things and to honor the warranty. We have not had any issues in our new RV, 2016 RV that we purchased back in September, September, I believe, September of 2009. This could be a pro for you if you want to finance, if you want to finance more um, and give less of a deposit then a newer unit is for you. Also some of the newer units come with some tech advances. We're not talking anything huge here so just hear me out. Like our unit has an actual little plug where we can get a specific solar panel that actually plugs right in. We don't have to modify all this stuff to get a solar in our unit. Another thing is that our unit comes with LED lights, which conserves energy and produces less heat, which is a positive. We also have um, a USB plug and an integrated DVD system right into our unit. Also, a new unit might have updated interiors. I'm not talking like super modern or super hip or anything. Some of the cons again, of getting a new unit would be price. They are not cheap. At least they're not for how quickly that value goes down. If you are the new owner, you have to deal with all the new weird issues. 
and you waste with a new unit you get all the original stuff right there and then and you get to be the guinea pig to try it out and see if it is <laughs> functional and then deal with you know going back and forth the manufacturer or the dealership to help fix any issues that might be there anyway so that's all I wanted to talk about about newer use let us know what uh, you're interested in are you looking at new units old units used units or oh my gosh let's just redo the whole thing units or are you building your own that always blows my mind thanks bye